Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Sea Life 6, and today we're going to be talking about why I have not one, but two wholesale subscriptions or memberships. But before we get into that, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button. That way you know when any of my new videos are coming out. So jumping right into it, why do I have both a Costco and a BJ's membership? People ask me all the time, aren't they exactly the same? Isn't that wasting money? And actually, no, it's really not. The two are really different and I use them for different things. So first things first, BJ's. I love BJ's so much. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, boo, BJ's, Costco's are so much better. And it depends on what you're buying. I am a huge, huge couponer. Anyone that knows me knows that I coupon to save money. We have a larger-ish size family with being a family of six, being a military family, and being on just one income because I am a stay-at-home mom because I homeschool. Um, it Money gets tight. You know, we have months where money is super tight, just like everyone else. We have months where we're kind of more lax with money, and it's just all about what's going on in our life and our season at that time. Where BJ's comes in, and the reason I love BJ's so much, um, and this is the main reason compared to Costco, because you really can't do this at Costco, is the coupon reason. One, they say that Costco has a coupon book. It's not really a coupon book. It is a list of things that are pretty much on sale for the month at Costco's to where BJ's, it's actually a coupon book. You tear those coupons out. Or if you have the BJ's app and you're um, going to the store, you can download all your coupons straight to your phone. Now, a little hack here, if you're buying something that's like multiples, like say there's a snack that's on sale and you wanna stock up for your kids, you can download that coupon to your phone and you can still use that coupon from the coupon book. What gets even better is if, let's say, your local newspaper has a coupon, a regular manufacturer's coupon for that item. You can not only take that manufacturer's coupon, it might be on sale at BJ's, so there's an extra plus, and then you have the BJ's coupon. You're stacking those coupons together. <coughs> now I still have this cough going on two months. It's driving me crazy. Anyway you can stack those coupons together, which means you're saving so much money. Um, BJ's is what I like to call my kids shopping place. It's where I get their snacks from. It's where I get toilet paper from. <coughs> it's where I get a lot of our disposable stuff from because of the fact that you can stack coupons with them. You can use coupons at Costco, but like I said, Costco's really doesn't have, I say Costco, Costco or Costco, however you want to say it. I'm horrible with saying things if you know me. They really don't do that. So you can have a coupon, but if you're getting the coupon book, it's just showing you what's on sale and how much is on sale for. Now, on a different note, with Costco, you can buy, a lot of the times, it will have an unlimited amount to where BJ's, they might set a limit to something. So let's say lunch meat is on sale. Um, at Costco. It's going to show you in your savings book, your savings coupon book that they're on sale for $3. If you have a manufacturer's coupon, you can use that, but you can't like stack the coupons onto that to where if you're going to BJ's, if it's on sale and BJ's has a coupon for it and you have a manufacturer's coupon, there's where the stacking comes from. A lot of the times, whatever is in the coupon book for BJ's is almost going to be on sale in store. So not only are you getting it already off with the coupon, but you're mostly saving it because they're having it on sale as well. Now, back up to that. Things that I get here, they don't get here. Meat choices. 100% hands down, Costco is better with meat. Um, until we, we just recently got a Costco in our area where we are stationed and I was only shopping at BJ's and I really had to be selective with my meat at BJ's because you just weren't getting a lot for your buck to be honest like they're like bulk purchasing um they started doing some funky things like every once in a while I would go into BJ's trying to get bulk chicken <coughs> because I like to marinate put it in the freezer for later and they stopped having just bulk packs of chicken and they were doing this I think it was Purdue don't quote me on that 
but there was a company that they were having bulk chicken, but all the chicken was also in single serve bags, which made the cost go up because you're now paying for those single serve bags, which I didn't like because I like marinate my chicken. If I just wanted to take those bags, throw them in the freezer and not worry about it until I defrost it, that would have been fine. But because I had to open all of those bags, I'm now wasting the money that I paid for them to be prepackaged. So when they were doing things like that, it really wasn't the best. Also, I found at our BJ's, I'm not sure about the rest of the BJ's around the world, but ours, with the like the the fat percentage of their ground beef we really don't have that wide of a range for the fat percentage so when i was looking for a more lean meat i wasn't finding it at bj's now switch up to here costco's meat selection y'all hands down the best selection of meat that i have ever seen and that's with shopping at bj's shopping at sam's club shopping at walmart shopping at um, the commissary on base here. I shop around, I go look at prices. I don't just go somewhere and buy things. I actually shop around. I can spend almost a week at a time shopping around because I wanted to get the best price because I was trying to get the, you know, the most bang for my buck at the time basically. To where with Costco, the meat selection is so great. I really don't have to do that anymore. Um, I kind of know now what the prices are going to be like a lot, you know, Walmart groceries pickup, you know, you can call and ask them a lot of the times with their grocery pickup, you can't really see the exact final of the meat, but if you call them and ask them to give you a price, they'll go and say, Hey, out of the ranges of prices we have, this is the highest package of meat. So compared to all of those stores, Costco is amazing. I also find that Costco has more of gluten-free stuff. They have more wellness products compared to BJ. So basically what I say is the Costco is my husband, my membership, and BJ's is more of my kids and household memberships. Um, I get all of my kids snacks because they're always on sale. I have never had a single month where not one of my kids snacks are on sale. And I know people are going to be like, oh, you should just be feeding them fruits and vegetables and all that. Stuff. Okay, let's, let's be real. My kids eat that. They also are allowed a snack. In the afternoons, they come in, they're allowed to have a snack when they get right home before dinner um, because they've been gone all day, they've been running around all day. So they're allowed to have a snack, they pick a snack out what they want. And I'm pretty lenient on that. If you have seen my Instagram, which I will link my Instagram below, you guys know that <coughs> my kids have a choice system they have set up. First choice, like during the summertime when my kids are all home, first choice, you have to go to the fridge. I have an entire drawer full of fruit pouches, string cheese, yogurts. Um, I normally make like half peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That is my go-to spot for them. They must go to the fridge first if they're hungry before they're allowed to get a processed snack basically. Um, during the school year, I only load up their lunch boxes with the good stuff. I don't really give them any snacks. It's not like when I, it's not like when I was growing up where I had Doritos and Splurge and like Twinkies and all that stuff that like 90s kids, 80s and 90s kids had in their lunchbox. My kids do not have that. If, I'm pretty sure if I sent them to school with that stuff, I'd get a call from the school being like, ma'am, what's going on with your house? You're not eating healthy. Um, So my kids are used to eating healthy, but I do allow them to have treats every now and then. And like I said, BJ's hands down is the best with kids snacks. <coughs> I, com I price compared um, the snack options between the two stores before I made this video because I just wanted to make sure that I was making an informed video and I found for our family you might not agree with this but our family the snack choices at BJ way better deals so if you're looking to really be able to save money you need a coupon you need to stick to an extremely tight budget but you also have to buy bulk purchases I'm going to tell you BJ's is your way to go oh on a side note BJ's also, in our area at least, hold on, this cough's coming. BJ's has an amazing deal that they've been doing in our area lately with gas. Almost, I want to say half the store <laughs> is on what's called a gas program, which if, is if you buy a product that has a little gas symbol on it, you get 10 cents off a gallon of gas when you fill up gas. It has to be right after that. Um, you've purchased though like it's not like something you can come back the next day for so I really recommend if you're going to be shopping at BJ's 
that you get your tank kind of down, do other things, maybe hold up on your shopping until you need to fill up on gas because their gas program is amazing. Um, where I live up here, I know the last time I checked the gas, last time I filled it up was two sixty five dollars a gallon here in Connecticut. I know for some areas that's high places compared to California, it's low for us. It's around the middle, not too high, not too low. But when I go to BJ's and I buy those things that have the gas symbol next to them and their snacks, house products, dog food, diapers, any of that stuff, 10 cents off. I've gotten down to where I only had to pay 20 cents once per gallon to fill up. It was amazing. So BJ's has a great gas, um, a gas program. Look up your BJ's in your local area. See what their gas program's like. I, like I said, I'm not sure if they're all the same. So BJ's for family needs. Oh, when diapers, I keep saying, oh, I keep saying, oh, diapers. If you have babies, if you're using diapers, BJ's is the place to get your diapers because of the coupon stacking. A lot of the times the diapers can be on sale. The diapers normally, the last couple times I've gone, the last couple months, have always had a gas thing next to them. So it's also a gas incentive. Normally you have a, a diapers that are on sale. Even the, the BJ's brand, they have coupons in their book for, for money off the BJ's brands. You're probably not going to find in a manufacturer's coupon on them outside of BJ's, but BJ's um, diapers and wipes are normally are already priced lower. They have just around the same number of diapers as Pampers, um, Pull Ups, Loves, um, all those kinds of things. But then you can stack that coupon on, on top of it and get it for a little lower price. Pampers always has coupons, manufacturers, coupons, Huggies, um, Pull Ups, they always, if you look in your um, your local newspaper, the last Sunday of the month is when you're going to find the best coupons for those. Um, that's when you get the most inserts is in the last Sunday of the month newspaper. And you're going to have, you know, tons of diapers and tons of wife co wipes coupon. So you just really got to look for that for the end of the month. Um, and you'll be able to stack it. You'll be able to stack a $4 off coupon from BJ's coupon book with a $3 off coupon from, you know, a manufacturer's book and you're saving a quite a bit of money just right there, especially when you got more than one kid um, that's in diapers or just one kid in diapers. Saving money on baby products is always a huge thing. So again, BJ's for that. Like I said, Costco, just kind of wrapping that up. It's great if you're on a more health conscious diet. I find that a lot of my adult dietary needs I can find at Costco and I don't really have to go shopping too far up. I can find a lot of healthy stuff at Costco, which I'm sorry, you can't really find at BJ's. And that was the one big bummer for me before we had this in our area is I bulk grocery shop, but I couldn't do that because they didn't have a lot of the healthy stuff that I was looking for. Um, if you've seen my introduction video, you have heard me talk about the fact that um, I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes with my children and I've been one of those rare people that now have it for the rest of their life. So I really have to watch my weight and this year I'm really trying to lose the extra pounds to get my own blood sugar where it needs, it needs to be better and I'm working on that for myself. And this is just, I can find so many healthy food. My husband and I went grocery shopping at the beginning of the month um, to start our lifestyle change diet that we're doing. and. We got everything we needed without having to go to a specialty store. So that was, oh my goodness, did y'all hear that? Excuse me. <laughs> so um, that's what, that's what, this is so great. Like you need more than one. Now I also have the next step up memberships with both of these. I have the rewards where it's not the credit card, but it's not the basic, it's the middle card. And my reasoning is because I go bulk shop, bulk grocery shopping so often that these rewards come in super handy for me. I say if you have a larger family, splurge on either of these to get the rewards. If you know you're going to be shopping multiple times a year, if you know you're gonna be shopping multiple times a month, get the executive membership basically for both of these. You, you earn cash back. Um, I know for BJ's, when you get to $20, it'll ask you, right at the cash um the, the cash register would you like to use your twenty dollars in rewards 
amazing. Um, this is my first time with Costco, so I'm not really sure how it's going to work. Uh, probably going to be something like that. I'll come back with another video to tell you how those rewards really work. But like I said, I'm just using the rewards because we shop so often. I have watched a lot of YouTube mamas, Jamarelle Stewart, our tribe of many that do a lot of bulk grocery shopping at the beginning of the month. I started doing that at the beginning of this past fall and it has helped save our family so much money that I did not realize you were wasting by doing the main portion of our grocery shopping, making a whole month's grocery list, which I'll be doing another video on that, and then bulk grocery shopping at the beginning of the month, and then having a little bit of money set aside each week to buy fresh, fresh fruit, vegetables, and dairy that we need. So look for that video to come out. If you have anything else that you know that I haven't talked about that are so great about both of these places and you want to add in, please comment below. I mean, I'm not perfect. I'll probably miss something, but I hope you found this video informative. If you have both of these in your area and you've been thinking like, should I get one? Should I get the other? I personally say have both. Have one for each of your needs. That way you're saving as much money as possible. Thanks for being with me and I can't wait to talk to you guys in another video.